Hi friends, quick video. Um, we have buckets upon buckets upon buckets upon buckets upon a couple more buckets of pretzels. So we're gonna pull <laughs> these out. Hi dumpster diving friends. So in the last clip you just saw all of the pretzel jugs that were in there, but well, you didn't see all of them. You saw maybe one or two. We kept lifting things up and there was more and more and more. So we have one, two, three, four, Four, and then I have another one um, that we've been munching on today. So five of these ginormous three pound jugs of sourdough pretzels. They are delicious. Um, they are from a very high quality store. So these are pretty dang good. And then we have 11 of these smaller one pound. Oh my gosh, we have so many pretzels. Um, we have 11, so 11 pounds of these football pretzels. They're just shaped like footballs. Um, we have not tried them yet, but I'm sure they're just as good because they are from the same brand right there that oots don't know much about them but they're really good so we are super pumped and we will be eating pretzels for a long time and that is a-okay because we love pretzels and we buy them relatively often anyway so we just saved ourselves a lot of money next um i believe that you guys have seen these before i can't remember if they're in another video we found them a few nights in a row however this was just a big haul we have found all of this chocolate these broken chocolate bunnies um that one's like completely broken and it wasn't in this box it was in its own like they were individually wrapped and then they were put in another bag and it was just it seemed super sanitary and there was a lot of these um white chocolate lambs they're all broken and so i'm assuming that's why they've thrown them away because it's not yet easter um of course it's just probably they're broken and they can't sell them uh so they chucked them and we grabbed them because i'm thinking i love to bake especially easter is coming up on sunday which i'm so excited about and so um um, I'm in charge of bringing um, the dessert. I'm always in charge of bringing dessert to my mother-in-law's house. I'm um, the baker of the family. And so I think I'm going to try to do something with all this chocolate because it's really high quality stuff. Um, I've tried a couple pieces. It's really good. So anyways, that was another great find as far as just saving money goes and repurposing and keeping perfectly okay food. And genuinely, I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. You guys have probably seen that in my previous videos. And these were so well wrapped that I don't feel even remotely worried about getting sick or contracting anything. I mean, these were perfectly fine. They were just broken. That's why they threw them out. So there's another cool find with our cute bunnies. We are on a little field trip of my house today because I'm just kind of changing from location to location based on where these are. We have a ginormous box. You guys have seen previously two other boxes filled with different supplements and protein powders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we found another box chock full. Um, unfortunately, this was a different dumpster, same store, different dumpster, um, and their store dumps out all of the protein powder. So in the other two boxes, we had tons of protein powder, which of course Taylor was so excited about. This store dumped them out, and of course it was raining. So all this like gunk you see on it is just protein powder, like gross, dried up. And I mean, it's not really that gross. It's just protein powder. Um, and so I, it's still in the box. I need to go through and like individually clean each one of these, which will be kind of a process. But a lot of protein bars that are still good. So many um, things of biotin. Um, and I take biotin because I'm trying to grow my nails out more. Um, I've, I've just been practicing uh, painting my own nails and stuff. And so they, they get a little damaged because I'm still practicing. But um, just so I take a ton of biotin, a lot of collagen enhancers. My mother-in-law and grandmother-in-law will probably really appreciate those. Um, yeah, just tons of different types of, there's some creatine. I mean, again, guys, this was just another um, pretty big box just filled with various um, various supplements that we're going to put to good use. Next was a find found in our wonderful local um, Zercher's bin and these are some banners, Super Bowl banners. So um, from the previous Super Bowl just barely that happened in February, um, Minnesota Vikings against somebody else that I don't even remember. Uh, we found a lot, um, which I'm not going to picture here because they're upstairs and I'm not going to go get them. We're already putting them to use. We found probably, gosh, I would say 20, um, 20 big cups and maybe 10 small cups. 
really high quality plastic that say like Minnesota Vikings, Super Bowl, February, whatever of 2018, um, which I know for some people like probably wouldn't be that cool. However, my father-in-law was born in Shakopee, Minnesota. And because of that, they are huge Viking fans. He even has season tickets to the Vikings, which is a big deal because we live in Utah and he's that dedicated that he flies out to Minnesota. So I was super excited to find those, giving some to him, keeping some for my husband because he's just as big of a Vikings fan. Um, but then anyway, so we found these um, Super Bowl banners and these little stringy doodads. Um, they are specific. They say Minnesota has the football and like the year of what Super Bowl it is. Uh, I think they're fun and all, but they really don't do me any good because the Super Bowl is over and it's so specific with the date and whatnot. But these, um, I use these types of little, I don't know what they're called, the doodads, decoration, swirl decorations um, with so many different parties. I, I mentioned we throw a big Halloween party. I throw Taylor a birthday party every year. I mean, there's just a lot of uses. So just tearing off the little, um, like, Super Bowl things on them and then reusing them these I know they sell them at the dollar store This is like a big pack. So I'm assuming I mean at a store like Zercher's it'd probably be you know three bucks three to five bucks Maybe um, so I'm just excited to be able to repurpose that keep them out of the landfill I'll be able to reuse these and reuse these and reuse these tear these little dangly guys off and either just Replace them with something or don't replace them with anything at all. So that's fun and same with the Super Bowl banner I found a few of those as well. Again, tear that middle part out and the side ones off, bada bing, bada boom. And then next year for the Super Bowl, we have a banner to hang up and I could either put like my own little football thing there or like just leave it blank, I don't know. But it's just a cute sign. I like to throw parties. It's a good excuse to throw a party if I have the, um, you know, the decorations for them. So that was another fun find that we have. I am just loving these Easter finds. I don't know if I just see the beauty in the odd or the different. Um, I mean, maybe you guys are looking at this right now and you're like, oh, I can immediately tell what's wrong with it. It's clearly damaged. When we pulled it out of the dumpster last night, I did not see what the damage was. I was like, oh, why did they throw away this beautiful, perfectly so cute? It's so my style. It's so, um, you know, I love the bare wood and it's simple with the Easter. It's just so cute. Why would they throw it away? Um, and then upon a closer, like seriously closer examination, I mean, obviously I could see that this little guy was uh, miscolored, but you can, there you go, at that angle you can see it's like a chunk of his wood got ripped off. Um, but when I saw him, I just thought like, wow, nothing's wrong with this at all. And I feel like for me, that's a good enough excuse. Like if I can't tell that that's damaged, if I just think that's one quirky rabbit in the line of rabbits, um, then of course I'm going to put it to good use. So obviously I'm super excited about that find. I love these Easter decorations that I've been finding lately. Um, and so, yeah, so it puts to good use. We are... Um, relatively recently married um, and so I'm excited to be finding these decorations that I'm not having to pay for at all so cute sign from um, World Market is where that was from and I'm sure they're still selling it so if you love it enough um, and you're you're not a diver you're not trying to get things for free I mean the least you could do is wait till it's on clearance after Easter right I'm just kidding but really if you want it they're still selling it this one was just damaged but super cute and I'm in love Okay, you guys, and lastly on this fun little Easter decoration haul that we found, this was mixed in with um, just some previous things from World Market, and it was clearly broken. So, I mean, you can't tell right there. I could just glue it on like that. This ear is like almost all the way off, and I do think it's supposed to be over like that. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like that, but I think it's supposed to be over like that. Um, that is just going to take me and a hot glue gun. Um, putting that sucker back together. It's a cute little basket um, Can hold I don't know maybe some little fake flowers or something. Um, I love chicken wire chicken wire is such such my style such my vibe so uh, I really love these minimal um, type of Easter decorations it uses a lot of um, of course, it's all fake, but it uses a lot of what you would think that you could find in nature. I mean, with the raw wood on the previous sign I showed and kind of this fun twiny greenery type thing. I'm in love with that. So that was another really exciting find again.